When, when the president says there's no there there, it almost seemed, and I, and I asked Dan Henniger this last night, that he was challenging reporters to say, no, really, there's no there there. Well, look, there are three there's, uh, and they are extremely important issues, and the administration is hugely on the defensive and hasn't really answered. And it's the same three we've always had. Why were the requests for security denied, including the desperate ones of the ambassador who ultimately was killed? Second, what happened on the night? How could America not have at least made an attempt of rescue? And the response by Democrats, well, it wouldn't have arrived in time. How the hell do you know in advance not going to arrive in time? How do you know it would only be seven and a half hours and not 17 and a half hours? That's not a response. And, the la and where was the president on that night? We've all seen the video and the pictures, well, the picture situation room of Obama on the night of the Osama raid. Everybody looks at, oh, yeah, he was really involved in that. Show me a picture of where he was on the night of the attack in Libya. Give me a timeline. Who did he talk to? What did he do? And lastly, the talking points, which are a fiction. And compounded by the fact that the president now says, I said it was a terror attack on the day after. That is not true. Even the Washington Post has said today it was absolutely a falsehood. It's a falsehood on top of falsehood. But the one advice I'd give to Republicans is this. Stop calling it a huge scandal. Stop saying it's a Watergate. Stop saying it's a rotten contra. Let the facts speak for themselves. Have a special committee, a select committee. The facts will speak for themselves. Pile them on. But don't exaggerate. Don't run ads about Hillary. It feeds the narrative of the other side that it's only a, a political event. It is not. Just be quiet and present the facts. That is it for the panel.